Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And today, no, I need stone, don't I? I don't need that. Today, I, well, we started Britannia last week, which is good. It's cobble, I want stone. We started Britannia and when we left off last week, we had made Endo Flames, we made a mana spreader, And right now, the end of flames are not, they're not doing anything because they have no power. No power? Yeah, because I haven't given them anything to, um, I haven't given them anything to eat, basically. No fuel. That's the word I wanted. There was no fuel. And it did mention, I was going, during the week, I had plans, I was going, why have you not? Done. That was three, four. During the week, I was going to look at um, the different types of um, functional flowers and, you know, all that stuff. And I did not get a chance to do anything. Well, now that's full, fully thing. All right. So I thought, well, you know what? Actually, there is, we can, we can do this together this week. Look at the different types of flowers and see what they have. Because I know it's not really part, because the quest wants you to make, let me see. The quest wants you to make a runic altar, which you need living rock and a mana diamond or a mana pearl. Okay, that's fine. But we should look at... Oh, hold on. Hungry flower. And what's this one? Floating flowers. Um, dirt, pasture seed, and a glimmering magenta flower. Okay. We can do that as well. Let's see. First of all, I want I need to make a, a, a drop thing for this. It mentioned, what was it? A drop box? Generating flora endoflame. Um, yeah, natural app. Open crate. Okay. So, previous page, view online, show notes. I want to go back to the index. All right, natural apparatus, open crate. Open crate accepts items from hoppers or other means of inserting items and drops them in, drops them direct, directly below it. Um. When given a redstone signal, any items it drops are prevented from being caught by flowers for around 10 seconds more than usual. A super, a super crate box? Open crate. Oh, the open crate is living wood planks. Do we have enough living wood planks? I don't think we do. Let's have a look. We have four. No, we need more. So let's do this. Um, where's the, there's the wood, there's the stone. I'm kind of, um, flying by the seat of my pants at the moment. Is that the phrase I want to use? And kind, I can't say I'm making it up as I go along. It's more like I have a vague idea what I'm supposed to do. And I don't want to rush off and say, yeah, I'm going to go look at it and come back. I want to be able to figure it out by myself. So this week, it's going to be quite a bit of figuring it out by myself. Also, the um, Serene Seasons, that's the name of the mod. I took it out because the snow was really doing my head in. It kept freezing the water and it was really annoying. And I just decided I'm taking it out. So I took it out. But um, uh, it's left the snow in, which is fine. It will... I guess it will um it will go away after time. 
What's the word? Melt. That's the word I wanted. It will melt after a time. And let's see if we can make a, a man of pearl. Do we have enough for a man of pearl? Where is our... Da, da, over here. Oh, that was not smart, Shane. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I'm going to have to move the... Oh, God, did I... No, I didn't mean to throw it in. I didn't mean to throw it in. I meant to... Oh, I'm so not thinking at the moment. All right, where is our man, our ender pearl? And I just need to queue. There you go. All right, it's getting to be nighttime. Let's go and sleep, get rid of the rain. Because the rain, most annoying thing ever. And then we can get on with the thing, with the episode. Is it still raining? Why is it raining? Shouldn't be raining. Right, hopefully the snow will melt and get rid of it. Right, let's get rid of this. I'm going to have to move the, um, oh, phooey. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, good grief. That's what happens when you have efficiency on your pick or your axe. And yeah, you're not watching what you're doing. Right, let's get these, move these out of the way. All right, let's put it on this side. I think that might still might be a little bit too close. Uh, where's the two flowers? But yeah, so, I mean, we're all learning together. One, two, three. And if this goes here, it's not going to block the mana pool. Excellent. Right, let's get some more of these down. And now I've forgotten what I was talking about. Um, can't remember. Serene Seasons. I took it out. That's the name of the mod that gave you winter and summer and so on and so forth. Yeah, it was annoying me because the water kept freezing over. And as I said, when we eventually do um, immersive engineering, it's going to really mess with us. Because if you're using a water wheel to generate energy, it's not really going to work. Oh, I did get it back. No, I just made that. Ignore that. Shane doesn't know what she's doing. All right, I think that's the open. No. All right, let's have a look. Open crate. Living wood planks. Okay, so why? You, oh, I see. It acts like logs. See, that I didn't know. So that means we did have enough. There's the planks, and that gives you the open crate. All right, that's just turned. Now, if I use. No. All right, take these out my offhand. Now I think I need one up. If I put the open, no, I think I need two up. And then the open crate on top. Take you off. It needs a redstone signal somehow. Because um, my knowledge of redstone is very, very rudimentary. All right, we need a hopper and a chest. Um, hopper. 
one gated hopper, wooden hopper, normal hopper. We just want one. And we need a chest. One chest will do. Because we don't need very much because these endo flames, they um they decay after a while. So it's not even as if they're permanent, they decay they decay after a certain amount of uses, so they're not finite. Right, that goes on there. So if I put Okay, that's not what we want. You need a pressure plate. Um, pressure. We have a gold pressure plate. No, we just want a normal wooden pressure plate. That works. Um, put that there. All right, now do I need to put on a lever? If I put on a lever, does that, that works, does that work as a redstone pulse? Ah. But that's off. That's not, I don't think that's what we want. And are you guys working? No, that's not, I don't think that's what we want. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think that might be it. Or do we have to keep, putting it on and off all the time. Is that going to work again? Because th I think what I'd seen ages ago, it was, um, oh, we could make a redstone clock. Yes, if we put a redstone clock on it, that should work. I don't know why that, um, oh, because there's nothing in there. All right, that's going to stay off until we turn it on again. I think if I make a redstone clock, that would help. All right, let's have a look. Redstone. All right. Yeah, because the setup that I saw years ago, it um, it involved you know stepping up redstone and stuff and where's my lever now that's still going through all right redstone clock not working all right that should be empty all right so Try again. Yeah, definitely not working. All right. Well, not the redstone clock then. So I'm going to have to. Yeah, come to me. Although, do I have. I don't know if I have a magnet on me. All right. So basically. It involved. Let me see if I remember correctly. Let's see. Let's 
Let's put it this way. Um, I think I needed a lever on this block and I need redstone. Like I said, my redstone is extremely rudimentary. So, you know, I know there's probably more efficient ways to do this. Oh, I thought I went and broke it. Okay. Now it will... That I don't think that's it. I'm pretty sure it just pulses. Oh, you know what? I might need to bring this down... Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Right, if I put this, if I put the dirt next to the block, let's move out the way so it can go. Of course, I need to be able to see what's up there. Oh. Because I really don't want to run and see what I'm doing. I want to be able to do this by myself. It's probably not what I want, but... And then the lever... Turn it on. And put that in and it's not going at all it's supposed to pulse it's supposed to pulse and work because I like I said I managed to get it done once because we shouldn't have to We shouldn't, I shouldn't have to be flicking this on and off. I should be able to just leave it. I can't remember how it works. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... to um, ooh. Yeah, I'm going to have to um, see if I could find out what I'm doing wrong. Because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And what did I want? Oh, run, wander the forest. And like I said, the end of flames, they don't last very long anyway. And you have different things like you've got the, I think it's the hydrania's that use water. This is going very slowly. Maybe if I moved it a little bit closer. And where are we here? Did that take all did that break all the mana that's out of it? Yes it did. It could be that it was too far away, because if it's too far away it just takes longer to fill up and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to have a look and see. <sighs> All right, let's try making some other stuff while we're out here. Um, we wanted... 
We need the floating magenta flower and the runic altar. All right, uh, runic altar. Yeah, spelling, Shane, spelling. All right, we've done that. Okay. And what do we get for that? As you move on in Britannia and create more complex items and flowers, you would need runes. You craft runes by placing items on a runic altar, sending mana to the altar, and then start the process by putting a piece of living rock on the altar and clicking it with your wand of the forest. To put items onto it, right click the altar with the item in your hand or drop it onto the altar. To remove items, shift right click with an empty hand. Okay, so we can place the altar here. Yeah. Did it take those or did it drop? I don't know. Maybe I did it right and I just wasn't waiting long enough. Let's look and see anyway. And what was the other thing? Maybe I did it right and I was worrying for the wrong reasons. All right, so we get a black lotus. Uh, floating flowers, floating magenta flower. So this is just a glimmering magenta flowers, a mystical magenta flower and glowstone. All right, we need, so we need some floral fertilizer. We need grass. Any of you are magenta? No, you are not. You're not magenta. There you go. And we need some glowstone. And where is... Oh, it's in the flower pouch. I was just about to say, where is that? I know we had it. Oh, we probably had... Oh, we had one in here anyway. Ah, oh, dear. Wasn't thinking. Okay, we want that. That will give us a glimmering magenta one. Did we not have any pasture seeds? Did we use all of them? All right. Um, pasture seeds. All right. How do you make those again? We need, I think, grass seeds and something else. No, we should be able to see in JEI. Uh, grass in a mana pool. Do we have any grass on us? We've got dead bush, but I don't think that's quite the same thing. Do we have any grass? Yes, we do. We have medium grass, we have short grass, we have grass grass. And that goes into here. Okay, um, pasture seeds and a floating flower. Can you just like put it in midair? Ooh, pretty. Actually, that's pretty cool. And it gives you light as well. That gives you, that is pretty cool. All right, no, that's def. I think those. Yeah, I think that stuff was there from before. Right, I should stop being preoccupied with that because I know there's other types of flowers. 
but I, oh, I guess I just want it to work. Um, right. That's not what I want. Shane, what are you doing? Uh, claim a loot chest. Hungry flower. Gore, Gore Morales. It is and similar to the Ender Flame, but instead of using fuel, this uses food. And, um, yeah, so you can throw food at it. So any unwanted stuff that you had. All right, so to make that, we need, oh, so you need the Runic Altar. Rune of Summer, Rune of Fire. Melon, Slime Ball, Sand. A Rune of Air, Mana Powder, which is any kind of powder in the Mana Pool. Uh, Rune of Air, Mana Steel, which is iron. Iron into the mana pool. All right, so we need rune of summer, rune of fire, uh, red petal, yellow petal, and grey petals. All right, I think we can do this. Can we plant this out here? No, we cannot plant. All right, um, do we have any melons though? I don't think I've ever grown any melons. I don't think I've grown any melons. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look and see if I have any melon seeds and we can grow those. Uh, what am I doing? Wireless, wireless thing. Because I must have some melon seeds. Yeah. We just need... Um, let go? No? Dirt. Pile of dirt. Really? Okay. Nothing wants to let go of... No! This has gone... I don't know why it does this. I really don't. I don't know why it does that. Because there was enough fuel in there to last it for quite a while. Um, okay. Yeah, can't look at that right now. Right, what were we doing? We were going to plant some melons. We need water. Oh no, we have fertile, fertile soil around this side. This should work. Do we have any more fertile soil? Uh, not in range. Yes, we do. Yeah, no, I I don't know what's wrong. I have to. Well, anyhow, we need to get a better power setup rather than that okay and the melon seeds yep they're growing can we access this from out here nope uh, snowballs redstone I oh, know I wanted the bone meal. I looked at it and thought, nah, and then it's like, yeah, I do actually need it. Cactus. Now we want the stone, we want the living rock. We want the planks, we want that, we want that. We keep one bucket and put back the rest. 
and we can put back the melon seeds. Right, I think that's going to grow pretty fast. Did I put away? No, I didn't. Ah. So yeah, I know there was, there's a way of generating mana with, with the, um, Hydrangea. I said that already. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it uses water. So you put it next to a water pool and then it, it kind of slurps out all the water. Okay. Um, Generating flora. Hydro. Hydro angels. Hydro angels? I can never pronounce that. Hydro angels. Aegis. Aegis. Okay, they act as a liquid base passive generator and will suck up any still water in a 3x3 three three area around it on the same height. Okay, they decay after an hour. So you can. We could do that. Have. A three by three, one, two, three, four hydrangeas around it, and that should work. But then how do you, does it tell you? Right. All right, so we need two blue and two cyan, and that will give you hydrangeas. Two of those. And one set of seats. two or there you go now we get the little indicator to say that all is well and good oh good grief what okay if it works if it works that's not what we meant to do but that's all i can say if it works all right let's make let me make the other three and then we could set that up around here. I could take out the ender flames, take this down because this doesn't seem to be working, and then we can end the episode. Finally, I know you guys are saying, "Oh my god, this is so much torture." I'm really sorry. <laughs> That's what happens when I try and work things out for myself, and it doesn't totally work. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I've set it up. Um, there's my pool. There's the, the hydrangeas. They're all connected. For some reason, this one isn't. I don't know why. Maybe if I try moving... Um, where's my thing? I think maybe if I try moving this, like, here. I don't know. Um, no. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I I thought I'd be able to get get away with stop that. I thought I'd be able to get away with um doing this without having to look at any kind of tutorials or anything. But I think I'm going to have to because I don't know what are these still not Oh god. I'm going to have to yeah, I don't know why this isn't working. Although these, as I remember, these are supposed to like slurp. Is it? I don't know. They said they're connected to a mana spreader. Yeah. So yeah. Border there, they're set up. We've got the um, we got this basic rods rod of the lands, rod of the depths, rod of the seas. Okay, um, sparks, cataclys cataclysmic conversion, baubles, and this is where we're heading the ring of magnetization. Once we have that, that is fine. And then this stuff we can, I'll make 
Ritual of Gaia. I don't know if I want to do that. It's some kind of boss thing, something, something. We'll make these. We'll see how it goes. But this is where I, this is where I want to be. The Ring of Magnetization. So next week, we'll see how much of these we can get done. Because the rods, you use those. They use mana to make, to, to place blocks and stuff. We don't really need it, but you know, we'll make it so we can see exactly what it is. And then you can make your own decision as to whether you'd actually want to do it or not. So yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.